What's up guys? Mario here with Aesthetics Unleashed. Made a little remodeling of our channel guys. As you can see we're adding the logo to the channel which I think is pretty cool. A friend of mine designed it, Eddie. So thank you man, really appreciate that. As you can tell we're really working here for you guys. Just really trying to make the channel a little bit more aesthetically pleasing that's a nice pun right aesthetics okay so today's topic is gonna be supplements and nutrition guys that's not actually going to be a workout video i will be posting workout videos uh about twice a week guys one of them will be a tip which will be focused on one particular exercise per se bench press which is going to be my next one I'm going to show you tips on how to bench press properly because if you do not have the proper form, there is a high risk of getting injured and just risking your joints over time, guys. So that's very important. So look out for that on my next video. And the next video will actually be a whole entire workout routine. So let's move on, on to today's segments, guys, which is supplements and nutrition. Alright guys, so I want to start off with a pre-workout. This is obviously going to be one of the first supplements that you take heading to the gym. And there's a lot of myths about pre-workout and what it actually does and what it shouldn't do. But according to natural bodybuilding, it is not cheating to take pre-workout. Despite of what people say. It's, it is an energy booster. But it does not enhance muscle growth or any of that sort in an incredible amount. Actually, no supplement will do that other than a pro hormone or actual steroids, guys. So anything natural is not going to be a drastic change to your body. It's just going to help you get there. So, as you know, I, I do take pre-workout, but I don't take it every day, guys. I used to, but then you do build a tolerance to it. And every time you're going to want more. And whenever you don't take it, you're going to feel like shit. So, don't get used to this. Only use it when you're really down and you know you're not going to get a good workout if you do not take some sort of energy. So this is like a last minute resort kind of thing. Don't use it daily. Of course, that's my advice. If you don't want to follow that, then do whatever you want. But that is my advice. I've done this before and this is what works best for me overall. So the basic component of um, pre-workout that most people don't know about that gives you the, the jitters, everybody's like, I'm itchy. It's the beta alanine. This product does ask as a, act as a buffer for your muscles' acidity. So if you guys don't know how muscles work, as you work them out, you produce lactic acid. This causes your muscles' acidity to increase, which uh, decreases the level of oxygen that can get in there. The less oxygen, the more tired your muscle is going to get. Hence, if you buffer that acidity, your muscle can work long longer. See. People think this is like, oh, well, there's your cheating. Guys, this is a one rep we're talking about. It's not a big buffer. It's just very minimal. So don't get hyped up and saying pre-workout is going to make you push 10, 20 more pounds than you actually can. It's not. It's going to help you get that last rep, and that's basically it, guys. Other than that, that's honestly one of the main and uh important components of the pre-workout i mean if you want to look at anything else like caffeine caffeine does actually increase your strength a little bit according to recent studies but like i said it's nothing major guys all right guys let's move on to the very acclaimed protein this is my protein, guys. Sorry, I'm not going to show you any names right now. If you email me, I will recommend supplements, but I am not going to show you these, guys. I honestly don't know very much about labels and stuff, so I don't want to get into that. So, anyway, protein. Myth, 
busted, guys. It is not going to make you grow. Basic as that. People are like, oh, you take protein. That's what makes you grow. Nope. <laughs> protein does not make you grow, guys. That is not true. It helps you, yes, but it does not make you grow. That is the biggest lie anyone will ever tell you. If you know how your body works and the anatomy of your body, you will understand this. And I'm going to explain it fairly quickly because I don't want this video to be like 20 minutes long if I explain to you protein synthesis and all this stuff with RNA, tRNA. It's just going to take too long, guys. So I'm not going to get into the molecule level, but I will tell you this. Uh, basic building block of muscle, protein. Basic building blocks of protein, amino acids. So if you want to build muscle, you need protein. Yes, that's the correct part. But if you do not require protein, all this excess protein is not going to do anything. So let me explain this a different way. Let's say you have uh, tomato sauce to make pizza, guys. Everybody knows how to make a pizza, right? So if you have enough tomato sauce to make three pizzas, but you don't have enough dough, you're not going to make three pizzas. So it's the same way. If you don't work your muscles to the point where they need this much protein, that excess protein is going to go to waste. So if you don't work out, your body's not going to need the protein that you're putting into its body. So that's basically how it works, guys. Because a lot of people are like just taking protein shakes and protein shakes in the morning and in the afternoon and they don't even know the protein intake that their body requires. So no, guys, I don't just grab one scoop and randomly throw it in there. No, I know how much protein my body can intake and how much protein I need according to my workout and my metabolism. So no, I'm not throwing protein randomly and just hoping to get results. No, that is so not going to happen. So that's basically it for the protein, guys. I mean, most people think it's going to do magic, but no, it's not, guys. Next up are the amino acids. Like I said, they're the building blocks of protein. And these are, I take these intro workout and they're a little bit of a, not energy booster, but you could feel your muscle kind of give you a one more rep kind of deal. And it might just be mental, but I like to take them. They help me. And like I said, amino acids are building blocks of protein. So it's actually going to aid in your protein synthesis. So I really like these. These are really cheap, guys. They're not magic either. They're like 15, 20 bucks. I've seen the commercial brands go like 10 bucks for BCAs. And that's pretty great. And BCAs, basic chain amino acids. So you're getting the same thing, guys. And your pre-workout and protein might contain some BCAs but they're gonna be very, very small dosages. So I do recommend amino acids, they do help, definitely do. All right guys, the last product on my list is, well, there's actually no name for it, if I don't tell you the brand. But basically what this is, it's giving me more carbs. Protein Shake is giving me more protein. This is giving me more carbs, guys. Now, I don't use this as it is usually used. I don't go two scoops, three scoops, so I can get all those carbs in. No, I use this. I actually haven't started using this. As you can see, it's still brand new. But how I intend to use this would be a better wordplay is I'm a college student. I don't have access to a kitchen 24-7, guys. So I live in a dorm. I have to go prep my meals downstairs every once in a while. So I don't have easy access to make myself eggs in the morning or egg whites. So what I make is oatmeal and that is not very carb heavy. It's very fiber heavy, but it's not carb heavy. So I am going to take this with my oatmeal, guys. I plan myself to make a shake with a banana 
And that'll take care of my extra carbs that I'm not intaking for my breakfast, which is a very important meal, guys. So this is, this is why I got this. It is not crucial to you. It's only if you need it. Like I said before, take the supplements that you need. Just because I'm taking this doesn't mean everybody else should take this. Or just because somebody else is taking this, I'm not going to just randomly go and, Hey, can I have one of those? No, you need to look into what you need and get that. Because everybody has different goals, guys. Don't forget to like my shit, guys. Comment and subscribe.